want to talk to you a little bit today about social media mm. and, and the importance of content marketing in our business. So what is content marketing? Well, I suppose the, the most important thing about social media today is that you can target it down to an office. For example, you can target to employers in Paran, but what you need is great content. And that's where content marketing comes in. Yeah, okay, so content marketing, what's that, what's that about? How can we make that work at a local level? Now, content marketing is fantastic because it's the creation and distribution of valuable and relevant content to attract and retain an audience, and most importantly, drive sales. That's brilliant, mate. That's what we stand for, isn't it? So, yeah. if we're talking about that, is what is it going to do? That what can we do that'll attract, say, yeah. our customers' attention? Mm -hmm. So. Content marketing is not one person's job. I need everybody's help. So um, what we need to do is we need to find out our target market's pain points, whether that be job seekers or employers. In this case, we want to target more employers. What do they need? What, what, what are their pain points? And what we need to do is create content around that that solves those pain points and creates an aha moment for the employer who will then be receptive for our solutions. Brilliant. So if you know in your region one of the real challenges that employers have is getting staff to stay engaged in their business. They've got a high turnover. Mm. We can put some content marketing in place with mm. good news stories about how we've yeah. kept people and supported people in employment. Yeah and that's going to attract their attention. So what we need is we need that pain point, we then need to have our solution for that pain point, and then we need to demonstrate our claim with a good news story yeah. and build it around okay. that. It's really about understanding the issue, mm. offering a solution, and letting the customer know what the benefit of that solution is, and then proving it. And Content marketing is really effective, and it's really easy to produce. All I need is your ideas. Just email them to me at brianb at serenarusso.com.au. I'll help develop the story. We'll then put a link in that story, which comes back to a landing page on our website with the registration details, feedback forms. The employer fills that in. I need three staff members to do this job. Then our, one of our sales team can contact the employer and there we go, we have a result. Steve, I'm now gonna ask you some questions. Not all of us are as outgoing as you. Mm. You know, when we visit an employer, we might not know exactly what to say, what to do to get the best result. What's the easiest, most effective way to get that employer to engage with us? It's not about being outgoing, and I think this is really important. This mm. is not about being in people's faces and, and, and telling them mm. what to do and, and, and being you know, really, really out there. To me, employer engagement and understanding our employers is just like we would mm. normally do in a relationship. So you don't form a relationship with somebody by telling them about yourself. Mm. You form a relationship by asking them questions and finding out a little bit about them. When you find out a little bit about them, then all of a sudden you can match those two things mm. that you're interested in. You do that and what do you get? You, get mm. a, you build a relationship. Mm. Employers are exactly the same. One of the things that I think we, we sometimes get a bit tied up in in our mind is that we must sell. It's not about selling in the first instance. It's about acquiring the knowledge in the first place mm. that helps us to match their pain points. We've talked about it before, the, the, the customer's pain points with the solutions that we have in our kit bag mm. um, to, to suit those. So I can give you a great example. Kathleen Newcomb and mm. I uh, went and, and spoke with a very large employer. They've got about 20,000 staff last week, you know, mm. and I felt very, um, sort of overawed by the by the circumstances, but we sat down there with them, and one of the things that Kathleen did, which was fantastic, straight away she said, "Can you just tell us a little bit about your business?" Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you what, forty five minutes later, the employer's still talking, and Kathleen and I are just ticking off all of these uh, areas where we could really add value to their business, where the services we offered really aligned well for, mm. with what they were looking for in their business. Mm. We didn't have to sell anything; we really just got the employer to open up and talk about themselves and what they were looking for. By doing that, we can match them up to what we do. I think you don't have to be outgoing mm. to form good employer relationships. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's probably better if you're not. Be a good listener, listen to them, and know your products. If you know your products, then you'll be able to align the products to meet the employer's needs. When we're aligning our products to their needs, we're offering a solution. Mm. When we're telling people what we can do, we're just talking about ourselves. So Steve, when you're going to see a potential customer, how should you prepare for that meeting? Oh, 
look, you've got to do your research, haven't you? Mm. You've got to understand a little bit about their business. You can't ask the right questions of them to get them talking unless you understand a little bit about them. The great thing about social media and, and the, the online world mm. is you can find out so much through LinkedIn, through Facebook, um, through their website. Mm. You can find out so much about that employer before you go out. So that's the number one thing I take out to see a customer. Um, the second thing, I'm not a big fan of big piles of paper to give mm. them. Again, that's about talking about us rather than than um, really understanding their needs and aligning our services mm. to their needs. You know what I take out? I take out my iPad. And I start with saying, I'm going to take lots of notes here. It's, I'm not mm. being rude. I just really want to capture what we talk about here because if I can capture that information, I'm more likely to be able to come back with a solution that's going to meet your needs. Mm. So that's all I take out except for my business card mm. because that's my... Uh, if you like, my promise to them that I'm on board mm. with them and they can contact me at any time, we start to build that mm. relationship. I'm not saying, hey, um, I'll get one of my people to talk to you. I'm saying mm. I'm the one that's responsible for this. Mm. I'm taking action here with mm. you to make sure we meet your needs. Steve, I obviously want to get something out of the relationship. I want them to take on our candidates. Mm. Now, obviously, wage subsidies is a big thing that we can push with employers. Now. Um, with that, how do you get the message across that there are wage subsidies available to employers and not talk about yourself? Yeah, um, you know the best way, and we can do this, we can have a look in the system and look at how many job seekers, so we're just talking about SRJ now, but um, we can look at how many job seekers have found own employment with that employer. That's a great way of doing it. And look at whether or not those, way, those job seekers would have attracted wage subsidies for the employer. I recently um, you know, mm. went and saw an employer, and when we looked them up in the system, we could see that they'd missed about $600,000 worth of wage subsidies because they hadn't come to us in the first mm. instance. They were recruiting our candidates, mm. but they hadn't done it through us, and by the time we found out, it was too late. But that all goes back to your research. Yeah, if had you done that, you can broach it. Listen, do you know you've missed out on $600,000 worth of wage subsidies? No better way to get someone's attention. Yeah. yeah. And it worked. You know, those, that employer saying, right, we need to engage better with you guys. Steve, what are the big selling points that Serena Russo has with employers? Remember, first thing is we've got to understand what their needs are. Mm. So if an employer is saying, look, it really costs me a lot to keep up with this staff turnover, it costs me a lot to mm. train new staff, instantly wage subsidy helps that. We're going to ask you to take on somebody that mm. may not have all the experience that you need, but there's $6,500 worth of wage subsidy to support the cost of you training that person in the job. But we could take that a step forward. Um, if you're finding, if the employer's finding the job seekers don't have the skills on day one, maybe we can run a pre-employment program mm. dedicated to creating the skills within our candidate base so on day one, they're more productive. Once they're there, it's that post-placement support. You know, mm. I love what um, our Indigenous coordinators are doing in that Indigenous mentoring. They're not just mentoring our Indigenous candidates, but they're, in, they're also mentoring our employers so employers can better understand mm. how to engage with that, um, their diverse workforce. And I think they're the sorts of things mm. that we can really talk about. Of course, things like equipment, clothing, those sorts of things that, again, are an additional mm. expense to employers when they're recruiting mm. is powerful. Remember. But at the end of the day, the employer is only interested in being able to deliver the service that their business delivers. If they do that through people, our job is to make sure they've got the right people. So I think one of the big things to take out of this is communicate with us and we're here to help you. Go with us all.